Shalom. All praises, glory, and honor is due to Yahweh, Bahashom, Yahweh Shai, Bahashom Chakodash. Double honors to the apostles, bishops, elders, and teachers of Great Millstone, and the like minded men who may not be directly part of Great Millstone but are following the same doctrine. Salutations to the elect, Akimin that's men, women, and also like the children of the elect who are predestined to be saved in these last days. Um, as, as if you've been following, if you've been watching, the apostles from Apostle to Haran Down and the like-minded men um, who are pushing this word on highways and byways as they are. You know, we're in those last days, the very last minutes of the last days. I mean, it's a time of war as well. You know, we've got um, conflicts. You know, today the Crimea Bridge, Curse Bridge, I think it's in Crimea, has been... Um, 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 interfered with. Um, I think some kind of bombings on there, and so um, traffic has stopped. And that's in Crimea. That's war between Russia and Ukraine by proxy, by um, NATO by proxy. Um, talks of um, and so as a result, the grain deal um, is has been stopped. Um, so the grain that from Ukraine between Ukraine and Russia. It gets transported to various parts of the world, specifically the nation, um, the, the continent of Africa. Um, grain, grain will be um, the, the grain will be limited, so the wheat price is going to go up. Yeah, again, time of war, uh, Matthew twenty fourth chapter, six seventh verse, verse. You know, famines, wars, wounds of wars, and pestilences. Paraphrasing Yahweh Shai. Um, so today, it's just a quick article. Um, just dealing with a quick uh, looking for articles today. And so I um, kind of spirit. As soon as I seen this article, I just thought of Jeremiah fifty first chapter, "Were born to fight." So I'm going to start here, um, Ecclesiastes three and one. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Yeah, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to jump down to eight now. Yeah. To save time. <laughs> a time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. Uh, and we're in this time of war. There's no peace in this earth right now. Peace will come when Yahweh Shai returns and you will be you know, Prince of Peace. All right. So we know we're in this time of war. I'm going to, if I could go to this article that I read in the Epoch Times. And it reads, in-depth fa military families no longer want their children to enlist. This is from yesterday in the Epoch Times. It's, um, look, I'm going to put it in the description box, but you get the point there. Yeah, so I'm going to read a few of these paragraphs. Um, more than two dozen military service members Re reached out to Epoch Times saying they are discouraged, discouraging their children from donning the uniform. This marks the end of a legacy for some families and a tough decision for all people. And if just more than two dozen, then obviously there's, you can multiply that. Yeah, um, people know it's a time of war, right? And they know with all the policies that the the the, the government has pushed out, be it in the juice, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, the juice thing that was mandated. If you can read uh, that paragraph down there now, was mandated by the government for the troops to take. Yeah, and be all the 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 alphabet and transformer agenda that's being pushed in the military. People um, ain't gonna fight. You know, don't want to fight. Actually, don't want to fight for for Babylon the Great, which is America. And in the UK as well, you know, um, the, and this is why eventually when that time of war is truly upon us, you know, when the third world truly comes, which will not come until the mark of the beast, which is Revelation 13th chapter 6 to 17th verse is mandated or implemented and mandated. You know, that was a physical mark, the RFID chip. Once that is mandated, the Third World War will kick off in its earnest shortly after the nukes will fly. Yeah, and but prior to that, there will be a draft. Yeah, because people do not want to fight. 
Uh, because why do people not want to fight? Because of policies? But also because the, the wicked are in charge. You know, but anyway, if the righteous were in charge, it wouldn't be war anyway. So, huh. um, Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear for all, the people mourn. And they are. I read it in the NLT. When the godly are in authority, the people rejoice. But there will be no more war. Isaiah, the second chapter, for example, goes into that. Um, starting around the second verse. But when the wicked are in power, the, they groan. And this is what's happening. Even the people who they used to call patriots are groaning, moaning. Yeah, because the fact is their agendas, like that one you can see. Can I get highlight it? No, I can't highlight it. So like, yeah, but it's that, that 19 thing, yeah? Like that, people are moaning. Like the, um, the, the alphabet stuff, people are moaning, groaning. They don't want to fight for the nation no more. Right, and why should they? Because End of the day, bear with me a second. I'll get this. Um, right. Simple search. Veterans. Oh. This is two months ago. Homeless veteran sleeps on church steps. Yeah, I've seen that before. Shelter America, homeless veterans. That's five years ago. You know, you can update these if you choose the homeless veterans news, you see. This shouldn't be the case. This should not be the case. It's another reason why people don't want to, you know, fight for the for the so called country. But NYC lawmakers are kicking homeless veterans out of hotels and replacing them with, you know, whatever. Let's go to that top shot. What I do is use my military experience to survive, to keep myself clean. Nothing is 100% guaranteed. There's no such thing as being out here and you're safe. But what I can do is, that's around me, is bring out the honor of everyone. So that's the homeless veteran talking about keeping himself safe on the streets. He shouldn't be in that position. Simple as that. You know, it's a sh shame. And um, scriptures talk on that as well. So, Act 26, chapter, and I think it's the 28th verse. I wrote it down earlier. Um, Ecclesiasticus 26 and 28. There be two things that grieve my heart, and the third maketh me angry a man of war that suffereth poverty. Yeah, and we can see this all over the West, right? Here in the UK, in the um, Babylon the Great, those men should be honoured. Those men, you know, end of the day, if it was a righteous side, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm not supporting it, I'm just saying, yeah, they shouldn't be homeless. But this is how you know this, the wicked are in charge. And this is how you know the wicked, they don't care about their own people at all. As it says in, um, oh, let me get that. I'm just actually finish off that scripture first, then get on and we're moving too fast. So like yeah. Right. There be two things that grieve my heart. The third maketh me angry. A man of war that suffer suffer of poverty, and men of understanding that are not set by. <laughs> and one that returneth from righteousness to sin. <laughs> now after those will with it, it's not our lot. The Lord prepareth such an an one for the sword. Wow. You know, but why are these veterans, we don't support this society at all, right? But why are these, it's like okay, we're on the book of Sirach, 13th chapter, I think it's around the 14th verse. Um, no, it's 14th. Yeah. Ecclesiastes, book of Sirach, 14th chapter, the 5th verse. He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? He shall not take pleasure in his goods. And this is why, one of the reasons why Babylon is falling, because it doesn't look after its people. Because at the end of the day, also all of you have a bashing anyway, they had a limit 
they're coming to that limit now anyway. Yeah. But if they're not good to their own people, yeah, right. If not good to themselves, how can they be good to anybody else? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, seeing the article, you know, in depth military families no longer want their children to enlist. That is going to be one reason why the draft is going to be called when that time comes. Jeremiah 51st chapter. This is the first scripture I thought of when I seen the article. And I think it's around down at the 31st. I'm going to start at. Um, oh, yeah, I'm going to start at 25. Yeah, 25. Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain. That's Babylon the Great, that's America. Mountains are governments, um, synonymous with governments. Mountain can also be a mountain in itself, per se, um, but mountains are usually representative of or can be representative of governments in the scriptures. Mountain, hills. Um, large governments, small governments. For instance, when um, these nations go, go to summit, you know, they go to summit. Summit is on top of a mountain, isn't it? Yeah. So, say of the Lord, Yahweh Shemashai, which destroyeth all the earth, and I will stretch out mine hand upon thee and roll thee down from the rocks and will make thee a burnt mountain, as America will be a the sacrifice, the first place I heard it, first person to say it I heard was Apostle Ha, Isaiah the 34th chapter. Yeah, um, also, um, America, Babylon the Great will be a burnt sacrifice. Because the, the nukes will, um, ICBMs will destroy that land. Um, Jeremiah 51 down to 27. Um, Set ye up a standard in the land, blow the trumpet among the nations, prepare the nations against her. This is what's happening now. Call together against the kingdoms of Ararat. Ararat, that's Turkey. Mini, that's Armenia. And Askenaz, that's Germany. Appoint a captain against her. Cause the horses to come up as the rough caterpillars. Yeah, like swarming locusts, as it says. You know, the armies. The horses means the power. Prepare against the, the nations of the kings of the Medes. That's synonymous with um, um, Russia. You can read that in, in, in Ezekiel 38th chapter, um, Isaiah the 13th chapter as well. The captains thereof and all the rulers thereof and all the land of his dominion. And the land shall tremble and sorrow for every purpose of the Lord, Yehoah Shemoshai, shall be performed against Babylon, which is America. Yeah, Babylon the Great, which is America, to make the land of Babylon a desolate nation with an, without inhabitation. So eventually, when the nukes fly, America will be desolate. Again, Isaiah 34th chapter. Yeah, goes into that as well as um, 13th as well. Jeremiah 49, Jeremiah 51, Jeremiah 50. Yeah, this is the point I want to make. The mighty men of Babylon have forborne to fight. Yeah, they have remained in their holds, their might have failed. They became as women. They have burned her dwelling places. Her bars are broken. That's eventually what's going to happen. But what we're seeing now is the beginning of those men forborn to not to fight. They don't want to fight. Go into this word forborn. America will be burnt up. A burnt sacrifice. Yeah. Dal, ha dal, ha, da, la, ha dal. Strong's age 2308. Ha dal. Ha dal. Ha dal. said it right. To stop. The form just below that. Ha dal. Ha dal. Ha dal. Ha dal. La, ha dal. Right. Um, to stop, cease. Desist, forgo, cease to be, leave, undo, forbear, to cease, leave off. <laughs> to leave off from fighting, to let alone, forbear, endeth. That's eventually, you know, we can see the beginnings of um, um, the armies of Babylon the Great from all the policies that they're presenting to uh, 
um, to, to, within with, within the, the army and within the, the, the host, yeah, um, would be it alphabet party um, policies or be it mandating of um, juices. It's all leading to prophecies, yeah. The army will not want to fight, even though the northern army will be sent to the valley of um, Yahweh Shapat, yeah. So, um, but yeah, the so Lord's will, this was edifying. It's just, you know, it's beautiful to see the, um, it's beautiful to see, man, scriptures come alive. They are alive, not come alive, they are alive. With that, Lord's will, this is edifying. I know it's a bit all over the place. I'm going to say, Shalom.